Hello guys, and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. After the catastrophic last time, um, playing as uh, yeah, the Chinese Empire, and I got basically destroyed by Germany um, quite late on in the game, which I mean, made me give up um, in its own particular way. It wasn't an easy choice, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back in with another one, and this time I'm going to go for a domination victory. Um, it's apparently it's the hardest victory to try and get, just because usually before you can get a domination victory, the other victories overwrite them. So either a culture victory, a religious victory, or a uh, science victory comes first. Um, but who am I going to play as? Well, I think I'm going to go to Victoria. And the reason for that is I'm going to put it on Emperor Difficulty. It's going to be standard settings. And the reason why I'm going to do this is I'm going to go for Island Plates. And then we're going to go Map Size is Standard. And if we go down to here, uh, what we got here? So everything else is going to keep more or less exactly the same. And all the victories are on as well. So, no duplicate leaders, uh, allies share visibility, which is fine, um, no teams, oh, well, apparently teams don't even mean anything anyway. Start in the ancient era, so I think that's kind of cool, a good one. So we're going to jump in and see how we can go with Victoria. Now, the cool thing about um, the English, or England in general, which I love to play, thankfully, because I am English myself, or I'm British, um, more or less, is that she gets the special ability for Victoria, is Pax uh, Britannica, which all found or conquered cities on the continent other than your home other than your home continent receive a free meal, uh, melee unit gain the red coat unit unit when the military science technology is researched which is kind of neat also the british museum each uh, archaeological museum holds six artifacts instead of three so it doubles it um, and can support two archaeologists at once which is um, really neat the other one is Redcoats, uh, English unique industrial area units when Victory, uh, Victoria is their leader. So I think eventually down the line you'll be able to have other un um, leaders instead of just of the one, but as it stands right now there's only one for each sieve, which is a bit surprising. Um, and then you've got Sea Dogs, which is replaces the Privateer. And apparently cannot be seen unless adjacent to it, which is gonna, seems very powerful. And then you get the Royal Navy Dockyard, which replaces the Harbour District. So I'm hoping I can actually stand... I'm going to make focus on Navy. That might be a good one. But I'm hoping I don't go against the... Um, Who was the other one here? I think it's Harold, isn't it? Which, uh, yeah. Harold Hardrada, uh, which basically they're just so powerful because they can raid you. But we'll see. Anyway, let's get in. Right. Cool. So what we got here? So I don't know if it's a good starting location. We have got Marble, Marble, Sheep. Got fish over there, and then we've got wheat bonus, wheat bonus. So I think I'm going to settle here, and then I'm not too many tiles away, I think. One, two, three. Mm, or maybe I should settle here. Oh, always a hard choice to begin with, isn't it? <laughs> um, do you move or do you sell? Uh, let's move here. Ooh, I do like the wheat, though. So, I mean, if I move to here, I get the coast anyway, and I get all the wheat. So I'm going to move two tiles, which is could be a bad decision. But we'll see. I've also got auto turn on. So we'll see how that plays out. So I move there. So that means I am two turns behind in making anything, which hopefully that doesn't go horribly wrong, but we'll find out. Um, let's move you guys down. Yes, look at all this wheat. This is ridiculous. So let's found a city. Cool. And we got sailing straight away, which is nice. Uh, so I can't really explore much on this island. Right, what we got here? So sailing might be a good one to go for, but I think to begin with, um, what have we got around us? I've got sheep and I've got marble, which requires mining. So And wheat you can go straight away. Uh, so I think I'll go for marble, which is mining. Which will be nine turns of research. I will also build a, well, all these are going to be useless for the time being anyway, so I think I'm going to go for a builder. And the reason for that is I can't build a warrior because there's not much to explore. And, yeah, the scout just seems a bit worthless at the moment. And because I've got auto-turn, it's just cycling through because there's no to do. Which is good. Right, so let's have a look this way. All right, so there's barbarian spearmen right there. <laughs> let's move here. 
And let's take this out because I don't want that spawning any uh, barbarians. Alright, so you're done. So let's get this one done first. You attack. Oh, wow, he's got a lot of fucking defense. Holy shit. Um, right, you're done there, so what I want to build the monument next. Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? At his best. Sweet. Okay, wow. Okay. What we got here? So let's get this. Let's get irrigation, which is nice. I'm just going to hold off here for now because I can't really attack him. He's going to basically wipe my ass. Yeah, major defeat. I think it's the modifier because we're on a hill as well. Go here. Ah, cool. Um, yeah, so we want this one and we want this one. Yes, we're sure. Then what do we want to go for? Foreign trade or craftsmanship? Which one does we get? So that's production towards mirror units, factory builders. This one. We want to go to foreign trade because I want the naval units. Okay, so now we've got mining, we can actually go for um, go for this, and then we jump into yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's move you across. Get you. Give us some lovely uh, wheat. Help my city grow. All right, and then we're going to go to the mine. We'll get that. That's my last charge, I think, of this builder. But that's fine. Boost craftsmanship and masonry. Let's attack him. Do some more damage. It knocks him down halfway, which is good. City needs food. Really? Wow, apparently my city is in, in very much need of a lot of food. Um, we'll heal up for now. Okay, so that's been done. Uh, do I want to get an early settler out? I'm guessing I'm going to need to because there doesn't seem to be much point of doing anything else just yet. Let's get a settler building. Because I need the food, but apparently I ain't got much as it stands. It is not that life is sure. Oh, I'm going to build a ship. Hit this guy. Okay, so now we've got access to uh, being able to do quad dreams, I think it is. Right, what should we go for? Get animal husbandry, because that's what we need for the sheep. And then we'll go for this. Yay! Um, move you into there, gets rid of that. Ah, shit. I forgot the quad dream can uh, fire on land. The positive aspect. Bollocks. Right. All right, we've done that one. So what's the next one? Improved free tile. So we can get craftsmanship actually quite early. This doesn't seem too bad. Wonder complete. Wow, stone engine got completed quickly. I could build another city up here, but it doesn't seem like it's any point. So we'll wait. Let's go to sleep, and then I'll build a galley. And then we'll see what we can go through. If there are no dogs in have skill without imagination. Yeah, sweet. Uh, what do we want to go for next then? I think bronze working maybe. Because we've got writing. Oh no, no. We want to go for writing. We need to make sure we get a library, so we want access to a campus. Okay, so you're done. Um, where's the one that? What we got here? Um, I'm going to head towards that, I think. Cool. Ooh, who we found? Uh, city-state meeting bonus. We've apparently met a city-state. Oh. Geve uh, Geneva. Hello there. Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. I like actually the idea how much I've turned. I'm going only, what, 10 minutes in? I'm on 10.35. <laughs> There we go, that's what we need. And we've also got, a, we can choose a Pantheon. Ah, this might be a good place to settle. Can I actually go anywhere yet? Right, Pantheon. What have we got near around here at the moment? Um, 
Got a lot of wheat. We've got some fish. Uh, what we got? So, that's production towards ancient classic area wonders. Um, tundra. Pastures, quarries. Fishing boats, which is not too bad. Um, 25 production towards ancient and classical military units. Border expansion, city growth rate. Um... Oh, I'm actually a bit stuck on what to do for that. The production seems good. Because we haven't got many camps. We haven't got many quarries. And the production seems like a good one to go for. Hmm. I don't want to pick the wrong one. Again, it's only a Pantheon, so it's not too bad. So we'll go for that. There we go. Sweet. Ah, what can we build next? Um, do we want to build another galley? We could build a trader. Get okay, a builder. Yeah, we'll go for another builder, I think. I think that'll work. Yeah, I can't embark yet. I've got to wait until. So I'm just going to have him lying around here for the time being. So go to sleep. Let's have a little movesy around, see what we can find. Right, so what else do we want? Yeah, so what I actually did and completely forgot to mention is I put production queues in. So as you can see here, I've got a production uh, queue of uh, builder. So I can actually put something else I want to do next. So after a builder, what I want to go for is a um, another galley. So that's kind of cool. So I can actually now, because I've got the mod of production queues, I can just queue up stuff instead of having to come back all the time. So once it's finished, it'll just go on to the next thing. Okay. So I found that there. So I'm wondering if I can get round. But that's fine. Um, have you come back? Heal. I think it's later on in the game you can actually heal while not in your area with ships. Spring him back. You can come all the way this way, I think. There we go. Uh, cool. Right, you don't make any sense, but that's fine. Okay, so we've got another settler ready to go. Uh, what else do we want? So we've got a Royal Navy Dockyard, which would be useful. So we build it here. Is that a threat there, Harold? I think it is. Harold Hardrada. Build that lighthouse in there as well. Okay, cool. So he's finished. Let's get back around there again. You have so few troops. Aren't you scared for your life? No, we're not China. It's fine. Are you scared that I'm going to build a massive navy and wipe you off the face of the earth? There we go. I don't know where he's gone. He might have been killed. We'll see. Welcome to Ooh, United, United States. States of America. I don't know why I did a weird accent, to be honest. I'm not going to meet you. Yep, yeah, see where you are. Okay, so he's down here? Yeah, it's down here somewhere. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, so it looks like they've been wiped out. So luckily, Geneva's got a massive fleet heart and fleet around here. Okay, that's 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 cool. Don't mind uh, you guys being there. Can I embark yet? Yeah. Two more turns. And you can embark, and I'm going to send you down here. Let's come back around, I think. Where's my other galley? You gonna come back here yet? Yeah. Alright, you've finished. Um we want we'll to fit a district, I think. Right, new government. So what do we want? We can go for autocracy, which gives us uh capital C's plus one boost to all yields. Um I think I'll go Ogre Ogratocracy. Is it ugly? Oligracy. Yeah. Gives my uh, other units a bit of a, a good one for now. Okay, so what we got? 
So, yeah, first one we send, which would be fine for the time being. And then we've got a wild card slot, which would be... Um, this one. Because then you can just build as quick as possible. Ooh. Wow. But your idea of peace... Oh, he just declared for a warm against me. There now. And there's the other one. These guys are so predictable, it's ridiculous. So is it just because I've... I cannot imagine anything. Alright, so let's bring all my ships back then, please. So I don't know how I'm going to get back, but that's fine. Um, let's go. That were a bit annoying. Um, let's go to bronze working then, I think. And now I can actually go... Oh, here he is. Yeah, so he's plundered my fucking unit. Right, you bastard. Alright, so it's galley versus galley. Who do you think is going to win? Hopefully me. What's that? Is that? Oh, no way, Scout. I can have promotion, which is good. Um, yeah, I have to repair that, I think. Oh, you, can you... No, you're going to have to come all the way fucking back around the long way, aren't you? Bastard. Yeah, you better run. I was saying that, he's going to run straight into this unit, though. <laughs> let's hit him for a look. And then let's build a... Um, a quad dream, I think. There he is. Where's he gone off to? There he is. <laughs> you can't get away from me, bitch. Okay, so send envoys. Um, oh. Oh, there we go. Um, send a cable. Why not? So he's run away, so let's jump into the sea. There we go. You're dead. Hmm. Yep, yeah, and he's now got spearmen on the island, which is not good. Let's get back to uh, heal up, I think. Can I have you back now? I think I'm going to put my first city here. And it kind of encompasses this bit. And then I can put the other one down here. You know what? You're in my way. Get out. Bronze is the... Quadream, go! This one has range, which is going to be fantastic. And you can't settle just yet, so we'll do that in a minute. Um, what we got here? Uh, cartography, uh, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go for masonry, I think. And what we're going to build... Um, build another settler, because we're just going absolutely crazy on them at the moment, but I'm going to build a trader, and there's another one. Two traders out. And then you can heal, and that'll do. Oop, needs orders. Okay, 
Right, so I'm going to call this episode here for the time being. I usually, when I start a new series, I always want to do one episode to begin with, which is usually quite longer than a normal slot. Um, so most episodes usually last about 20 minutes, but with the first episode of every new series, I like to do it a bit longer, just so it's a bit more of a, a chunk and we can get settled in. But I mean, with the auto-turn cycle and the mod, it's, what, we're up to turn night three already, and it's only been, we've been recording just over half an hour. But yeah, so all I'm going to say is... Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button. If you want to help support my channel, then hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell icon and check the little mark which says send me all notifications for this channel to keep up to date on everything that I do. Follow me on Twitter and player.me. And finally, leave a comment below.